Now, joining me now with something hearty to warm our bellies this Friday morning is Chef Dean Diplock from Briefy House Resort in Castlebar, yes, County Mayo. Good morning, Chef. Good morning. How are you? You have answered the gods and are cooking one of my favourites. Absolutely. We're going to make the uh, best dish for you, I think. And it's called? It is Ossobuco Milanese. Beautiful. Ossobuco. Which Osso means what? what? What are we cooking? Uh, veal shin. Oh, okay. All right. Veal shin here. Nice thick cut veal shin. Okay. I'm just dusting it with some flour, seasoned flour with a bit of nutmeg in it. Now, not the easiest thing to get your hands on, so if you can't get it... If you can't get it, you can use beef shin. Beef, Perfectly okay. fine to use beef shin. There's absolutely no issue with it whatsoever. All we want to do, as you can see here, we want, and for time purposes, I've just sped this up yes. a little bit. Um, you want to brown the meat nicely, get a good colour on it, okay? okay before we start with the vegetables, etc., okay. It releases the flavour from it. We get that lovely caramelised flavour. So I'm just going to set so this aside for a second. You sear all the pieces. Right, you sear all the pieces. You can drain some of the oil off if you need to. In this case, it's fine. And I'm going to put in, again, for time purposes, I've pre-cooked the onion. Right. And that's about uh, one large onion or two medium onions. OK. Uh, carrots, about a cup of carrots. Lovely. They go in as well. Celery, so we've got the Holy Trinity The in. Holy Trinity of stews and casseroles. Yeah, exactly, they're Gorgeous. all in there. So again, for time purposes, I've just sealed that I'll tell you what, nothing says autumn or winter more than starting a dish like that. Absolutely. Lovely. Now, the change, not red wine this time, we use white wine. White wine, In okay. this particular dish. Okay. We cook that down. We want to reduce that for about uh, 10 to 15 minutes, all right, just to get as much of the liquid out of that as possible okay. and get a little bit of that sour taste. Time-wise, obviously, we've got to move things up a little bit. Yeah. I then go in with the garlic. Don't put it in before that because it tends to burn. Okay. Okay, so just be careful of that. And then uh, we go in with our rosemary. Beautiful. Lovely fresh rosemary goes in. Gorgeous. You can chop that up if you like. It's no problem. Okay. That's all. You can also put thyme in if you prefer. Okay. And then our tomato paste. Okay. That's going to give us that depth of flavour. Beautiful. About a tablespoon, but you can put a little extra if you prefer. Okay. And that's it. That's the base of the, the whole stew, really. You want to cook that down time-wise. Obviously, we can't do too much of yeah. that today. Again, give it another 10 or 15 minutes. Let exactly. It, let it do its thing. And then we go back in with our osobuco oh. cut. What's the name osobuco? Where does that come from? Italian. It's Italian. It's an Italian. Uh, yeah, it's osobuco is referring to the, 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 cut, the, of the, the cut of meat. Yeah. Okay. So the osobuco is yeah. basically ready. All we need to do is now add our veal stock. Get a good veal stock. If you haven't got veal stock, you can use uh, chicken stock. Perfectly okay. good as well. Now, in the recipe, I didn't add this into the recipe, so it's entirely up to you if you want to use it. Some beef bouillon. Ah, right. Okay, otherwise you can just put salt and pepper perfectly fine. And then goes the pepper quickly. And is this a classic low and slow? Very low and slow. Two hours. Two hours. Two hours. Okay. In. So what we'll do now is we made a, I made a cartouche, oh. which is just uh, greaseproof paper. That goes over the top to hold all that juice in while it's cooking and stop it from drying out and drying on the top oh, layer right. of meat. Okay. We close that up, bring it to a simmer, pop it in the oven for two hours. After about an hour, check it. Turn the meat over if need Give be. Give it a little stir. Just check, make sure it's not too dry. It shouldn't be. You can do this in a pan. You then have to cover it with tinfoil. Or you can do it in a, a cast iron pot or an oven-proof pot is perfectly fine okay. as well. So that goes into the oven. About 160, 180 degrees. Okay, so low and low. slow, yeah. as I said. For... And it's one of those dishes, I'd imagine, that's not going to do it any damage if you cook it for two and a half, <clears> or three no, and a half. Absolutely yeah. not. Okay. In fact, uh, you just need to check it. Sometimes there may be a little bit too much liquid, okay. all you do is take the meat out of the liquid, pop the uh, pot back on the stove, reduce it down, put the meat back in again. Very good. And it's ready to go. But like most stews, better the next day. Oh, so this one I made last word. night, Look knowing that. that I'm coming to feed the man himself. And what have you got? Lovely to mashed potatoes. Oh, gee. You can, it's classically served with polenta, but we're in Ireland, so yeah. we like our mashed potatoes. We do. I've seasoned that with a little bit of nutmeg as well. That's an important spice in this dish. In the potato? <clears throat> in the potato. Oh, very good, okay. So, a bit of the osobuco And milanese. this will literally fall apart. It is, oh, it is soft, soft, soft. Oh, and uh, ready to Holy go. Moly. Lovely thick sauce to go with it. And the gravy is just killer, isn't it? Now, the final bit that makes it the Milanese yes. is the gremolata. Gremolata is chopped garlic, 
lemon zest, chopped parsley, and this is garnished on top of the dish. It releases its flavor with wow. the heat. Just a little sprinkle of salt on it, and you're good to go, sir. So that's the Milanese touch. That's the, the touch that makes at the it, end. exactly. I mean, they say we eat with our eyes. That is just stunning looking. That's and it great is looking so soft food. and very good. Very well, good. look, it's just coming away from the bowl. My mom helped me make this last night. Now, this is a very special day. <laughs> it is a special day In the Ziploc household. Yes. It's Mum's birthday. It's happy Mama birthday, Bear's Mom. birthday. Eleanor, a very happy, happy birthday. birthday, my darling. She's only a spring chicken. Only a spring chicken. Lots to go. Well, you've done well with this fella here. He's a cracking cook. Now, am I going to taste this live on air? Oh, yes, please. I would yes, love yes. to know what I'm you going, think I'm of it. I'm going in. I think that's number two. Number one favourite so far at this stage is the bake that we made the other day that you've made a few times at home, I believe. No, that's straight to number one. Oh, that's number one now. OK, so we're straight getting up the ranks. One. Amazing, amazing. Full recipe details are up on the website or call into Dean in Briefly House Hotel and try his wares for yourself.